Sheesh, Bruno. You caused us a lot of trouble. Time for a little revenge. Uh, do you know? Is he serious? <laughs> I can't wait till you wake up. I want to tell you about all the amazing things we've done. Ah, what's like that? You'll be punished, Loki. I swear on Mjolnir. You will pay dearly for betraying my trust. So, how do you plan to find your good-for-nothing brother? Gonna use more magic? Cut it out, Tony. Hate to say I told you so, but since when do our plans need to rely on deceptive stuff like magic? Science is no different. You use it to trick people, luring them into letting their senses deceive their minds. It's all just a game to you. Whoa there, just what are you accusing me of? That's enough fighting, you two. <clears throat> you both need to cool it, or you'll both be dealing with me. Hmm. <sighs> Careful with that! One misstep and this craft will explode! Come to think of it, that's not a bad idea. What do you mean? <laughs> Just as I expected, Mjolnir's power is intense. The energy we stole from Thor's hammer is one of the few powers strong enough to fuel the Emerald Crystal. Nothing. Thanks for asking. But it looks like it might rain soon, so maybe we should go inside. Sure. I hope it's only rain that's coming. The Emerald Crystal has started the final stage of purification. But it's slow. The vibranium we stole provides the power for this process, but we don't have quite as much as I had hoped. Oh well, I guess we just have to wait another hour before it's done. Such are the limits of science. Uh huh? Huh? Uh. What do you think you're doing? Calm yourself. I'm merely testing to see how we can control the crystal. <clears throat> Just as I thought, it's simple. Leave it alone, you imbecile! <laughs> <laughs> With these crystals, I shall reign supreme over Earth and Asgard. <laughs> Dear father and brother, you've looked down upon me for so long now, haven't you? <sighs> But I am about to bring you to your knees and take all that you love! So you planned all along to keep the crystal for yourself and forget about our deal? Of course I did. 
I must say, no one has ever trusted me like you did, so I'm not only grateful, I'm touched. Thank you, little man. Who said there's no honor among thieves? <laughs> and why are you laughing? If you had only behaved, you would have been granted your precious Asgard, but instead your greed has sealed your fate. You have crossed the line. He will never pardon your selfish betrayal. Bold words. What are you talking about? Tell me now, have you been keeping something from me? Turn about his fair play. So, there's another party involved. I'm not surprised. The Emerald Rain project clearly was too big and ambitious for a small-time player like you. Maybe so. In his grand plan, I am merely a pawn, but to play a role in his genius is an honor. The project, the technology, everything was conceived by the master himself. <sighs> Tell me now, who is this master you speak of? <laughs> My goodness, I've never seen you so scared. Enough games. Now where is this mastermind? I'm right here. <laughs> there he is, Loki. He's here in person. Why don't you introduce yourself? Go on. That's enough! I am a god. I have nothing to fear. <laughs> I have the power. I am strong. I am the ruler! Bow down! This... this can't be. <clears throat> Conqueror, you are now my subjects. You shall now undergo a test. Those who pass will become my warrior servants. Those who fail will be laid to waste. In one hour's time, glorious emerald-colored rain will fall from the skies above you. Most of you will perish without leaving a trace, lost in oblivion. Who is this clown? Is he Loki's partner? I doubt it. He's unfamiliar. I've never seen this creature. He is enormous. Even bigger than the Frost Giants that once invaded Asgard. Those who survive the coming storm will have absorbed the Emerald Rain into your bodies. You will acquire incredible superpowers, but I will control your hearts and minds. You shall forever walk the path of glory as my faithful soldiers. <gasps> So that's what the Emerald Rain Project is. Huh? Oh. <sighs> Think about all the changes Ares and the Enchantress went through after absorbing the crystals. Now we know what happened to them. <sighs> that giant outside, Kang. He plans to use the Emerald Crystal power on everyone in the city. Anyone who can't absorb its intensity will be destroyed. And the people who can integrate the crystal's power won't fare much better. They're doomed to become ruthless servants of the one who controls the crystal. The whole city's in danger. I'll stop him. We all will, as a team. On the honor of the Avengers. Right. Now it's time to plan our counterattack. Wait for us! Mm -hmm. We're coming with you. Um, no. There you go again, treating us like little kids. We know the risks, and we're right here, ready to help you. She's right. Thanks to you, we can do this. You know we're up to this challenge. We've been with you for a long time. All the more reason. <clears throat> You've been with us for a while now. We don't think of you as kids anymore. You're our friends, and we want you to stay safe. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> hmm. 
Try to understand. So now we're your friends? <sighs> Why are grown ups so good at twisting words to get us to do what they want? Let's go! Avengers, assemble! Who defies me? These insignificant upstarts shall serve as a lesson to the others. They will soon learn why I am called the Conqueror. Split up! You're in the way! Are you all right? Let me help. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure, sir. <laughs> Why don't you come along with us? Hey! Don't you have a job to do? You don't have to worry about us. Yeah, but... Captain Marvel! Huh? Go ahead. We can take it from here. Oh, Makoto, we missed you! <laughs> That's great! Now you can help the Avengers! <laughs> and future Avengers, thank you for coming to the rescue. <laughs> Go get him! Fair. We're back where we started. But not really. We don't have to prove ourselves anymore. We're officially part of the team. That's true. Right. Let's get to work. We own your throw! There's too much coming at us. I can't aim. Here it comes! Thanks, Captain Marvel. You good? Let's go! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Double! Smash! Do it, boy! He's all yours! Lightning strike! I did it! Score one for the good guys! You call yourself the Conqueror. But we don't allow conquests. That's right. Not as long as the Avengers are here. No one will rule over us. And we will never surrender. Huh? What's up? You didn't leave me a heroic line. Mr. Stark. Go, Friday. I can't confirm damage to the target. Say again? All right, where is he? <gasps> you gotta be kidding me! <sighs> no way! It didn't have any effect? Everyone, look out! Friday! Looks like he's weaponized those sound waves! Activate the noise canceling system! Do it! Understood. Do it now! If you thought I would surrender, you underestimated me. I am known as the Conqueror for good reason. In fact, I conquered Earth in 3000 AD. He what? Yes, I have traversed space and time, coming from an era you mortals call the future. In 
3000 AD, I conquered the entire Earth. Your civilization was destroyed when I laid waste to your planet. Yet I knew that my work was not done. True peace will come after I have conquered all of space, when the totality of the universe is under my control. However, my progress was halted. My armies were thwarted by a species in outer space possessing superpowers. They violated my supremacy. No one has the right to stop the Conqueror Kang! I learned that the source of the inhuman superpowers is the mysterious mineral called Terrigen Crystal. Using my superior intellect, I analyzed the crystal's structure and set out to reproduce it. Now I have that crystal and will transform Earthlings to give them superpowers like the Inhumans. Then I will conquer the universe. The plan has been put into action. It is the Emerald Rain Project. I can't hold on. This guy won't let up. <laughs> Cap! Wasp! <laughs> there was just one problem. Vibranium, the essential ingredient for the crystal, had been overmined. So it was no longer available on Earth in 3000 AD. I crossed through time. Vibranium still exists here in the 21st century, the Earth of the distant past. Here I shall harvest my power to renew my conquest. But then why did you need to recruit the Masters of Evil? Couldn't you collect the Vibranium you needed without their help? I enjoy forcing my faithful servants to work for me. There is no rush, for I have already conquered time. <laughs> Noise cancelling has reached its limit. My system has sustained critical damage. I am shutting down. I don't believe it. There's no way. The Avengers lost the battle. Makoto. Huh? Bruno! You're conscious again. Are you all right? <laughs> Oops. I guess we forgot to wash the doodles off your face. Huh? <laughs> Why, you? Uh, why are you always playing these stupid pranks? <laughs> hey, this isn't the time to joke around. Yeah, you're right. Even the Avengers weren't able to bring this guy down. Bruno, this is important. Do you still remember when you were controlled by the Emerald's power? I wish I could forget. I bet I'd feel a whole lot better. So you do remember? Yes, of course. That means you might remember where the Masters of Evil set up their hideout. Do you? Uh -huh. In a fight, Kang will beat us every time. But there's still a chance we can take him down if we find the crystal and somehow destroy it. Great idea, Adi. It'll never work. Huh? What? You got a better idea? Don't judge our plan just because you're scared. No, you don't understand. The hideout of the Masters of Evil isn't here, it's in space. It's called the Time Fortress Throne. But Kang has used his skills to camouflage it. We could search forever, but there's just no way to detect it from the ground. Sorry. I wish your plan could work, but I just don't see how. We've lost. There's nothing we can do? It's just over? It's not over. Huh? There's no way we're giving up yet. Think. What would Tony Stark do? <laughs> Cameras! Huh? Remember the time Tony hacked into the city's cameras when I was kidnapped? We'll do that too, but we'll hack into cameras all around the world. That's how we'll search for Kang's invisible time ship. But how? There aren't any cameras in space. No, wait. There are. Huh? Man-made satellites. There are thousands of them, taking images from space and orbiting the Earth. 
If I can pull off a massive technical act and hack into them, we might be able to calculate the position of the fortress. I'm not sure we can get around Kang's camouflage technology, but it's worth a try. You think we have a chance? We've got to at least give it a shot. But we're supposed to protect the kids. Go ahead. We'll be all right. We might not have superpowers, but we can find our own way from here. <sighs> Good luck, Makoto. Find the Emerald Crystal, and then go save the Avengers. Save all of us. I just know you're going to do it. Uh, thank you. No need to thank me. I'm just doing my part. <clears throat> you sure are. <laughs> nice. He's grown up. I have a lot of catching up to do. Since my strength growing, I will remain invincible, and they will never find the source of my power. The Avengers are doomed. The Conqueror Kang has come from the distant future. Up against his incredible power, the Avengers go down like flies. There is one last hope, the future Avengers. Not so fast. Kang is aware of the threat to his plan, so he lures Makoto and the others to his fortress. Watch out, it's a trap. In this desperate situation, will Bruno finally unleash his true inner hero? Next time on Marvel Future Avengers, The Darkest Hour. Catch the future Avengers.